When looking, it's easy to tell that this is no normal GTR. It's Godzilla on steroids. Employing lightweight carbon fiber body parts, including the brake ducts, grill, and rear wing, $50,000 six piston carbon ceramic brakes, a higher gear boost control, unique fixed Bilstein suspension, and ultra high performance 20 inch Bridgestone tires, the new GTR Spec V certainly looks a lot meaner than the stock GTR. Pumping out 478 horsepower, the Spec V's 3.8 litre V6 twin turbo only gets five extra horses over the 2008 R35. Chief Engineer Kazutoshi Mizuno tells us that his aim was not to add power, but to take the car's handling to the next level. Okay Mizuno-san, point taken. Let's see what this car can do. Firstly, acceleration. With the VDC on, we give it a few revs and release the brake. The car squats for a split second and then launches itself without the wheel spin of the 2008 car with the VDC off. A mind-boggling 3.2 seconds later, we've hit 60 miles per hour. Next, over to the slalom. Through the cones, the Spec V clocked 74.7 miles per hour, which creams all European makes and equals the best result for the ZR1. The newly fitted fixed Bilstein dampers work superbly to keep the car flatter and more controllable, while the upgraded Bridgestone run-flat tyres with their stronger sidewalls and shoulders give the car extra stability at speed. That superb suspension tyre combination revealed its merits over at the skid pad 10 minutes later. In comparison to the GTR's 0.93G on our skid pad last year, the Spec V returned a spectacular figure of 1.12Gs, once again beating its European rivals and substantially bettering the ZR1's 1.06. As Mizuno led us over to the facility's winding test track, he strongly recommended we try the car's high gear boost control device that broadens the car's torque by 14 pound foot for around 80 seconds between 3,500 and 5,200 revs. Right, time to see what it's got to offer. You've got to put it in manual mode first. So I'll flick it over to manual, drop it down a couple of gears, Flick the boost control switch like this. Here we go. I am a light. Yes. Hit the brakes. Oh, good heavens. Jesus. Woohoo! These new fixed Bilstein dampers really take you flat through the corner. You come out with the extra boost. This is a road-going race car. Even though Nissan can only build 30 units a month, Mizuno believes that the premium price tag of $165,000, twice that of the current GTR, won't distract buyers. But we're not so sure. Just to keep us all salivating at the evolution of Japan's greatest ever car, Nissan will return to the Nürburgring in April with a Spec V in an attempt to smash their own 7 minute 29 second lap time. The ZR1's 7 minute 26 second time is Mizuno's benchmark and ripe to be broken. Mm -hmm.